Hi, I'm Carl Edmondson with Graphic Transfer, and welcome to the wonderful world of high-speed carving. Today we're going to be using the Shofu Lab Air Z, and we're going to carve some Celtic knots into this little box right here. So the artwork we're going to be using here today on the top is this piece right here. So it's just going to be these... Uh, this Celtic knots hooked together with the hearts and that's going to go all the way around the top of the box. And then <clears throat> over here on the face we're going to be using this piece of art and it'll go right in here like that. So now what I'm going to do is put some glasses on so I can see this and then I'm going to start holding this piece of art down on here. And if I get it too far over this way, where this edge is, paper edge is exactly even with the wood edge, then this one is way off. So I've got to keep moving this around until I get it lined up to where I have a, approximately the same distance between the artwork and the edge of the wood all the way around this lid. Okay, now I'm pretty good right in there. Now this applique film this particular piece happens to be a slit down the back of it on the carrier page. So I can just grab that and um, start pulling that away and sticking my art down while I hold it in place though. Don't let it move around on you. And it moved on me. So that's okay, no big deal. I just pick it up like this set it back on there, line it up. Now that happens sometimes and it's no big thing. Um, you still have the backing on there so it's still really easy to get it lined up where you want it to be. Okay, we're back in place. Start pulling this off. And uh, I think we're gonna be successful this time. Okay, now to, I've got the backing still on this bottom piece, so I can just flip this over, put my hand on it, and run it down like that. And that'll stick it right down there. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Now I want to be very careful about my depth. And right in here, I don't have too much room to work with. Basically, I'm going to almost make just a little slit in there. And then when the applique film is off, we'll uh, make any changes that we need to make right there. So that's about all I need to do right there. Now I've got to work where my bit stays on the right side of the line that I'm working on. And I don't want to cut the line. I want to leave the line. So I'm going to work right next to the black. So I'm going to go right here now at the point, inside point of this heart, put my bit in and start pulling down here. Now I'm going to have to turn my wood. Put it back in. Stay right next to the line and at the same time, watch your depth. Okay. 
Now we've got all of the uh, stippling done. We've removed all the wood from all the way around the, um, the chains and the hearts and on both the inside and the outside. So we've got that done and I'm going to tilt this up so you can see this a little bit better. Now we've got it uh, pretty much ready to go to start putting the one piece underneath another piece. And we're going to get started on that right now. Um, <clears throat> let me set this back down here. Now, in these spots right here, you'll remember when we had the applique film on there, I took this uh, 699 on an angle and I made these little scratch marks in the wood. You can see that one right there. There's one here. There's one over here. Um, you can see those little scratch marks. Well, every place you have one of those, you have to take the wood down. So to do that, we're going to be using a small football diamond bit. And uh, that'll be, I'll get it in frame here. That'll be this bit right here. It's shaped like a football, and this is the smaller of the two. We have a large and a small. So I'm going to be using this bit and coming it at, at an angle just about like that. And I'll keep the tip of the bit right where that scratch mark is and we'll remove that wood in through there so that um, it'll look like it's going underneath this piece. We want this one to go underneath the heart. Okay, so I, I hope you've got the concept now that of putting this one underneath this one and this underneath this. Working into it, you don't work over it when you're putting one underneath the other. Okay, we're done with all the undercutting now. So we've got everything put under where it needs to be. And uh, as you can see by looking at the whole carving now, it's starting to come together pretty good and look pretty darn nice. All we need to do now is go along and remove these sharp edges that are on the flat pieces of these. And we're gonna round those off a little bit just to give it a, a little softer edge. Welcome back. Well, I think I've got the carving just about done here. The top one is all rounded off now. I went around with the small football and rounded everything off and uh, cleaned it all up. Well, we made it. I've got the finish on this box now, as you can see, and um, it came out pretty nice. I'm very happy with the carving and I'm happy with the finish. And I'm gonna lift it up here and um, let Shirley zoom in on it for you so you can see that carving that I did on the front of the box. The hearts with the interlaced hearts and even the one heart is kind of an upside down one there. So it came out pretty good, I'm very happy. Now I'm gonna take this, turn it, so that you can see the front of that, or the top of the box rather, 